Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 28 in chapter 8. In this problem, we can see there is a person who moves from top of this circle to this position. And then ask you at what angle theta will this person leave this circle. So how can we solve this problem so we can draw a picture look like this one? See, as the initial position, this one, we know the initial velocity is zero. Initial position is zero. Okay, and then we take this one as reference point. Is that fine for you? Yes. And now this person moves to the position two. Sorry, this is a V2. We don't know, we need to find it. And then we need to find the position Y2. How can you do that? You can see this is R, agree? And then project it in this direction. So this side becomes R cosine theta. Agree? This, I mean this one, this part. R cosine theta, because this is R, this is theta. So this part R cosine theta. So the distance for this one, the distance for this one is just to use the R minus R cosine theta, minus R cosine theta. Agree? Yes. So this distance is the r minus r cosine theta, and it below the reference point. So the position for y2 is negative r, and then 1 minus cosine theta. Agree? Yes. Now, for this person moves on this uh, circle, the energy is conserved. So initial energy equals to final energy. Agree? So initial energy is the 1 half mv1 square kinetic energy plus the potential energy mgy1 equals to the final energy 1 half mv2 squared plus mgy2. Now we input this known quantities. We find it looks like this one. So we get the v2. See, v2 is given. Now, if this person just at this position, we want to find this person just leave this circle. So how can it just leave the circle? That means there is no force between him and the circle. Do you agree? So that means this uh, normal force becomes zero. So in one situation, normal force becomes zero. So we can project the gravity in two components, mg sine theta and mg cosine theta. In, this, uh, um, in the direction pointing to the center, we have say mg cosine theta minus this f equal to m v2 squared divided by r. Agree? This is the central acceleration, v2 squared divided by r. In this case, is when this person just leaves the circle, the normal force becomes zero. So there is no force act between the person and this circle. So the normal force is zero. And then we can find the cosine theta is just a V2 square divided by GR. Now we, you can see we have these two equations. Right? And then uh, can you find this angle theta? Yes, very easily. We input the, the equation is V2 at zero. See? V2 square equal to gr cosine theta, and then we input it, and then we solve these two equations. We can get the cosine theta is 2 divided by 3. Now you find the cosine theta is 2 divided by 3, so now the angle is 48 degree. It's not so difficult. Um, and the first time when you look at this problem, you might find, wow, how can I know it's too difficult? And then you can see this is just a typical problem for the conservation of energy. You find the initial position, final position, and first one you write the energy is conservation. And then you know the time and the position. This person leaves the circle, it's just that the normal force is zero. So the normal force is zero makes the mg cosine theta equals mass times v2 squared divided by r. Then you solve these two equations, you get the final answer. Thank you.